Hey, walking crow, transformational sacred drum medicine saying, happy Tuesday. Good morning. It's Tuesday. What will you choose different today that was different from yesterday or last Tuesday that'll be different from tomorrow? Are you choosing better for yourself? Are you choosing love for yourself? Are you choosing intimacy intimacy for yourself? Or are you out there chasing intimacy and love and lust and all kinds of things and potsy poo and drinky poo and smoky poo and sexy poo and foody poo and all those things that aren't good for you? Are you willing to choose differently today, Tuesday, for yourself? Oh, oh. Today I want to talk about intimacy because intimacy is um, the way that I live my life. I live a very intimate life. And a lot of you, hundreds and thousands of you around the world have been with me through intimate moments in my life. And I share intimate bits of my life, not my whole life, because my whole life is none of your business. But there are parts of my life that are so important. They're intimate parts that I will share with you as a um, as a catapult for you out of where you might be stuck into a new future of new being, of new doing, of new living, of new loving, of new intimacy for the self. A lot of people think that intimacy is their yoni, intimacy is their penis. Intimacy is kissing. Intimacy is all kinds of things. Intimacy is the energy that happen, happens willingly between souls, that, between energies. It's the energy that happens willingly, willingly, and in allowance within my body, within my soul, within my mind, within my heart, within my fire, within my water, within my earth. To be willing to be still and listen to the intimacy that happens between the spirit world and walking crow. Are you ready? Are you willing to give yourself something different? Are you grasping at straws? Those of you with kids who, who your kids reach up to you, uppy, 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 want to be picked up. Have you been picked up in life by your lover, by your mother, by your father, by yourself? Have you been picked up? And if you haven't, go back and rescue that child. If you don't know how to move forward in your life, if you feel like you're always stuck in your life, and it's again, and you keep choosing the wrong guy, or you keep choosing the wrong girl, or Mrs. Right Now, or Mr. Right Now, or you keep choosing to pick up the joint, the, the bottle, uh, the, the cigarette, the food, the shopping, the, um, the uh, uh, social media, the um, chasing of the right crowd, the wrong crowd, being a part of. Do you have to be a part of, because you don't know how to be a part of your splintered self, your splintered self? I was splintered at five years old and again at about 15. And I had to go back, actually more than that, and I had to go back and rescue that little boy. I had to integrate that little boy with this man, with the now walking crow. And I had to give that little boy whatever it was he wanted that would make him peaceful and happy. But I wasn't a little boy anymore. I had to give him other things that the man who's integrated now with a little boy was willing to receive as a gift of self-care. How many of you understand what self-care is? Self-care isn't going to an event to, to uh, uh, listen to somebody play bowls or to uh, sing space language or whatever. That's not self-care. That's in addition to. Self-care comes in the intimacy, in the privacy of your own willingness, of your own being, of your own doing with nobody watching. 
And then you start like I do, I start to speak about it. And I'm either judged or I'm not judged or I'm listened to or not listened to or ignored or whatever the case may be. And it doesn't matter because that doesn't change what I do and who I am. I keep doing it. I don't like to celebrate the holidays. I don't care to. That's a, colon that's a colonist thing. That's a colonial thing. You know, we were colonized, so we do that. But the other day, Christmas Day, I put out a, a public invitation on Facebook and it invited people into my home who didn't have anywhere to go or may not be traveling and may not have family here in Sedona. My family is in L.A. and I don't want to go to L.A. for the holidays and do that thing. My my time in that thing is over. So I, I birthed food. I made food. I invited people to bring a dish. And I opened my doors from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it was a beautiful day. And I was a little unnerved at times. A little like, I just felt the energies. And my energy was ebbing and flowing because there's people who come into your house who you don't know and behave differently and do different things. And, you know, so you just kind of go with the flow. And in the at the end of the evening, it was beautiful. The souls that were here, the energy that was here, and it wasn't about Christmas. It was about the table. Who was sitting around the table? Who was feeding themselves and being fed and feeding? Oh, what were you willing to have a conversation about with somebody you didn't know yesterday or five minutes ago or a minute ago? The same day, Christmas Day, the 25th, I, I reached out to a friend of mine in Brazil who was sitting at at that same table a year ago, over a year ago. And it was nice and we re reminded each other that it's been a year since uh, we met. And she said, when are you coming to Brazil? See, those are friends for life. Those are friends who are intimate. If you call yourself my friend and you're not intimate with me in our conversation, in our doing, in our communication, in our way of being with each other, you're, you're not really a friend because you don't know how to be a friend to yourself and be that way to yourself. How do you speak to yourself? What are the things that you say? Do you put yourself down? Do you call yourself fat? Do you call yourself ugly? Do you call yourself dumb? Are you still in the language of the of the lineage of your of your life, of your parents, of your grandparents, of your brothers and your sisters? When are you willing to let go of that? When are, you will, when are you willing to unpot that dried up wilting plant out of that old pot and buy a bigger pot with new soil and new water and replant that plant into a bigger pot? When are you willing to do that? When are you willing to break up your roots? It's painful to break up your roots of your foundation and move yourself into a bigger pot with fresh water and fresh water and fresh water and fresh soil and things that are good for you, isn't it? I've done that. I came to Sedona not knowing really anybody, some people, a few, but my life here in Sedona isn't real social. My life in Sedona is about the medicine and the energies that I brought with me and that were here waiting for me as I came in and made this my home. As I came in and learned how to be silent. Meditation isn't always being silent. Meditation, listening is listening. Listening is ignoring the static energy of politics, of social media, of ego, of fake medicine, of uh, all kinds of things that don't belong to us. Christmas does not belong to me. It belongs to the colonizer. And if, if you're in bed with the colonizer, keep doing what you're doing if that's what you like but I refuse I don't I won't I say Merry Christmas to a few people but that's out of bad habit that's out of bad habit aho shouldn't want to not that aho shouldn't want to hey is what I would rather say because that says aho shouldn't want to not that aho shouldn't want and hey says thank you great spirit thank you great mother Thank you, power and the guidance of the medicine wheel, the four directions, all my relations, all my relations, all our relations, all our relations. Aho Shinawanahe says, thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and listening, coming and participating, coming and sitting in the sacred circle, coming and offering to the fire, offering tobacco, smoking the pipe, allowing me to blow into your heart. Aho. Oh,
bow and meet the blow with your heart and open the portal to the spirit world with my breath and my pipe and the tobacco. Are you ready? Oishino, 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 oishino. Are you ready for a new year? Are you ready for a new life? Everybody's asking about the new year in 2023. It's only Tuesday. Walk, don't run. What are you in a hurry for a flurry for? What? To make another failed attempt at um, a resolution, a New Year's resolution. And two weeks later, after running to the gym and running here and running, you find yourself face down in a pizza box on the floor. In a hurry for the new year. Finish the old year first. Finish Tuesday. You probably still haven't finished Monday and you're still bitching about having to go to work on the, what's really Christmas celebrated day politically, financially, business-wise. Be here now. Tuesday, Tuesday. Are you willing to give yourself something new? Something different? Something you can't reach? Do you want to be picked up but by becoming it becoming apparent that you are your parent and that person that birthed you wasn't your parent. You are your parent. I had to raise me because they were irresponsible with this child. I love my parents. They meant well, but he drank and she enabled him. Aho. And we were forgotten and left with other people. Oh, well. But my life is here now in Sedona at the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Studio. My name is Joaquin Crow. And are you ready to be intimate with yourself right here, right now? Not on New Year's Eve, not on New Year's Day, not on your birthday next year, and not on next Christmas. Right here, right now. Can you? Will you? Do you? Oh. Okanateo, Okanateo, Okanateo. It's cloudy outside. I can see the clouds roll. Can you see the clouds roll? I can see the sunshine. Can you see the sunshine? I can see the wind blow. I can feel the wind blow. I can hear the wind blow. Can you hear the wind blow? Okanateo, Okanateo. Singing the songs that I sing comes from being in the intimate nature of Walking Crow, with Walking Crow, about Walking Crow. Aho. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and I am the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. And if you would like to learn how to be still, be here now, you can take all the breathing classes that you want. You can go to all the sound baths that you want. And you can go all the ayahuasca uh, ceremonies that you want. But if you're willing to do something once and be aware and be in your willingness, you don't have to chase ghosts through all those things. I can teach you how to be centered. Breathe into your body. Be willing. Listen to your heart. Listen to the sounds that come in to the silence and be with those sounds as silence, not as noise, not as distractions. Aho. If you want to reach out to me, reach out to me at area code 818-442-1717. My name is Walking Crow, and I am the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. Welcoming you to Tuesday. Aho.